I believe that my life has been a journey of lessons, um, trials, and a lot of success, a lot of failure in equal measure. And that's why I'm here today. A refusal to give up, a refusal to quit. And I'm relishing this opportunity. So I get up to go to work every day and I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm enthusiastic and have a real zest uh, for life and for my career at the moment because um, I wait for so long to get a break. Finally, I, I have the break. Destiny awaits for me on the 14th of August. Erica and myself were at a crossroads a couple of months ago and we were talking about, you know, what's the, what's the next step? It's hard for a, for, for a coach, but to watch a fighter, you know, not know, waiting on the phone to ring, um, always waiting and waiting and waiting and, and not knowing what way his, his, his career was going to go, you know, the direction was, it going to, was he going to end, was he going to continue? The frustration of all of that, wondering like, what am I doing this for? Am I actually even going anywhere? And then to finally have this breakout opportunity, it's a, it's a, it's a proven that good things come to those who wait, but also to those who persevere. If I think back to the, being a young kid at seven years of age, walking into a boxing club for the first time, it took my breath away. The noise, the atmosphere, the, 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 just the smell, everything. I absolutely loved it. And I loved what it did for me. It helped me to express myself and it helped me to channel all of this energy I had into a very, something very positive. And I excelled and I got to travel the world, represent my country, which is unbelievable. Put me in the ring against Olympic, world, European champions and I'll hold my own. Outside of the ring, I'm like a fish out of water. For about 10 years, I was representing Ireland, but I was also living a secret life professional athlete representing my country, chasing Olympic Games, and then on the other side, uh, a young kid lost, trying to escape from reality, searching for oblivion at the weekends. And that's the way it was. So by the age of 14 or 15, I just, I just started dabbling and drinking drugs, and I was in full, fully flown addiction by the age of 16. You know, in 2012, I changed that. You know, I asked for help, put out the hand and asked for help because I wasn't happy about the way I was thinking, the way I was feeling, the way I was living. And I knew it was only a matter of time before the game was up for me. And if I didn't ask for help, I probably wouldn't be sitting here today talking to you. That's a fact. Boxing was, was a place where I found uh, solace because I, I slipped up so many times in my amateur career and I felt like I disrespected my, my talents and I didn't honour the gift that I was given. I, I decided to finish it on my terms and see how far I could go. So just approaching my 31st birthday, I turned pro in 2016 and here I am, 12-0, and 0, undefeated and uh, going into the biggest fight in my career. Like, I know how good Eric is. I've been on teams with Eric, travelling around the world with him um, and I've, I've seen him operate at the highest level. The whole of Ireland knows how good Eric is, but we need to step out of Ireland now, our small little country of four and a half million people, and step in with the big boys. And the big boys are Eddie Ahern and, and Co. So when we step over there into the, into the big pool, people will see how good Eric Donovan is. I don't believe I've been tested, truly. I don't believe I've been tested. I don't believe my character has been tested. I don't believe my mental uh, or physical ability has been tested uh, to, the, to the maximum. You need that stress in front of you. You need that, you need that threat that someone that's going to take your head off. Or if you don't perform to the level that you're capable of performing, you're not going to win this fight. There's no way you're going to win this fight. And I know if I don't perform to the level that I'm going to perform, then Zelfa Barrett will beat me. That's why I'm up for this fight. And that's why I, I know that you're going to see the best Eric Donovan on the 14th of August. If we do execute the game plan that we have made up, there's no reason why Eric should win this. He should win it quite easily. This is in Zelfa's hometown. He's the one that would be looking forward to having an audience to support him, but with no audience there to benefit him in the ring, I think Eric is going to thrive on that, and that could go against Zelfa, you know? 
Again, it's, it's on the night, it's talent, it's, it's work rate, it's discipline, it's sticking to a plan. And if all these things come together, I don't see any reason why Eric can't go out and win the fight. I have an opportunity to salvage a career, to make something of my career, to, to go out, to finish up my boxing journey with a bang and to finally say I've done it my way and came back and smashed it.